Now, on Tuesday, we introduced you to the recently signed intergovernmental agreement between Mace County Commissioners and Mace County Public Health. Specifically, changes made from the previous agreement signed back in 2012. Now, tonight, we hear from regional and national public health experts who say this new agreement goes too far. They are separate, the policy board, but they also um, use the finances for Mesa County. So that in that realm, they're like any other department within Mesa County. But it's worth a question as to why Mesa County commissioners have the ability to oversee all public health contracts when they only fund a tiny portion of the budget. That's only 4% or $475,000 of the County Health Department's $11.3 million budget. That was for 2023. The majority of which, as you can see, comes from federal and state grants. They only have 4% of the play. They have, to some degree, a complete veto over the budget if, if they don't like what the county health department or the county board of health is doing. Mark Johnson is currently the chief medical officer for Jefferson County, Colorado, and before that, directed public health. I was the executive director for that department for 33 years. During that time, Johnson helped create a 2008 law that laid the foundation for the current public health setup we have in Colorado today. One of the, what I think, unfortunate things that seems to have happened in Mesa County is that after the, after the arrangement was made with Jeff Coor, the Board of Health resigned, which then essentially gave the county commissioners free reign to put in a totally new Board of Health. Mesa County's new health board, which made changes to and passed this new intergovernmental agreement. And this isn't just happening in Mesa County. Other counties around the country are seeing similar moves. It's uh, more normal than it was pre-pandemic. Lori Freeman is the CEO of the National Association of County and City Health Officials. Freeman says the trend of heightened oversight over public health ramped up following the COVID-19 pandemic. It potentially could not just slow down necessary rapid action uh, that's needed during a threat to the community, a public health threat to the community, but it also undermines the actual expertise of people that have been trained to, to do public health. This is more than just a hypothetical problem for Mesa County. We have a case, for example, in Michigan right now where the county um, commissioners are attempting to fire uh, a local health officer um, and uh, reduce their budget at the same time. According to an Associated Press investigation, a Michigan-based group who attempted to sue Ottawa County over mask mandates won elections and gained control of the county commissioners. It's a retaliation uh, measure. What happened in Ottawa County, Michigan doesn't guarantee Mesa County commissioners or public health will drag their feet during the next pandemic or let politics influence policymaking or lead to retaliation. But it's something worth keeping a close eye on because it's happened before. Things changed dramatically in 2020 when COVID came in because what happened was a number of people found out how theoretically how powerful public health was. And could happen again. First on the Western Slope, Michael Loggerwell, KREX 5 News. You can read the full write-up on our website, westernslopenow.com, tomorrow morning.